turn off the fan. Oh, God. Good thing. You're welcome. Okay. I like your nails. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. Did ready you do to everything sell everything that you needed to do before you sat in this I chair? I turned on the camera. Is that the most important thing, I think? Yeah. What? Unless the battery dies. <laughs> what kind of camera crew do we have here? A subpar. <laughs> poorly paid one. <laughs> Okay, this is a free operation. They're exactly. not for profit. Okay. okay. We're not a charity. What kind of we thing? might as well be. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome back to She Show Videos, where we are your hosts, Elizabeth and Brittany. And before we even get started, please subscribe to our channel. Woo. Okay, we're out here doing stuff and things. All the things. Follow us on all the socials. Listen to our podcast, She Show Videos After Dark. We'd love to have you. Comment below. Tell us about your life. Give us some yeah. topics. People have been giving us topics recently, and I love it. They're rolling in. I know. I've seen some. Girl on Girl was one, and I was like, okay, We've let's also talk about it. We've some interesting commentary on our Instagram lately. Well, I can't wait to get into some of that. People think we're a lesbian couple. I know, and they're quite aggressive about it. Yeah. Trying to, first of all, I wish. Okay. <laughs> You're married. Technically, no. Legally, <laughs> I guess. All of the, all of the leads. Whatever. Okay, what? In, including Christopher Lee. What? <laughs> See what you did there. What are we talking about today? Today, I'm glad you asked because I let you pick. Okay, and no, you did. You I said, said one, one or two. two. Okay, they're all numbered in my phone. Okay. Number two on my phone today is. Does the partner with the lowest sex drive yes. determine no. <laughs> or hold the keys to the sexual relationship? Ugh. And should that be? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, speaking from my own personal experience. Okay. I do think that the person with the lower sex drive, which could be me or could be Chris Taylor, it's hard to say. It's not hard to say, it's you. <clears throat> Unfortunately does hold the keys. And I don't really want to because I feel like if my partner did hold the keys, maybe, let me retract. If my partner did hold the keys and I was also not me, then maybe we would have more sex. Okay. I think that it takes some, if one has a really low, the other one has to be the dominant partner to okay. like help balance it out. Okay. Unfortunately, I happen to be the lower sex drive. Not that I'm the dominant partner, but I may be the more aggressive partner. So, so it's a recipe for disaster, failure, dry, dryness. <laughs> okay. Valleys, if you will. Okay, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's let's spin this. Okay. Okay. All right. Like so you're saying that the person with the lower sex drive should not hold the keys. Correct. But in your case, the person with the lower sex drive does hold the keys. Correct. So let's just go into a different realm okay. of the world, and Chris Taylor holds the keys. Holds the keys. Okay. Okay. And you have the lower sex drive. How would you two balance that playing field? If you know you're the one with the lower sex drive and he has a higher sex drive, how do you think that you guys should meet in the middle and compromise to have a healthy more than once every 10 days? Sometimes <laughs> it's more than once every 10 days. That's the average, which means sometimes it's less than once every 10 days. <laughs> I know how averages work. I think if one, if it's, if the sex drives are very different, one's much lower and one's much higher. Okay. The person with the higher sex drive has to find a way to like communicate or motivate the one with the lower sex drive to have okay. sex. I think you can't force it because then there's like resentment, resentment. Yep. Mm -hmm. and like frustration the opposite way. Like I feel like you're forcing me to do this. I don't want to do it this. It becomes a chore right. at that point. Agreed. Okay. But there has to be some like motivation and I don't know what that looks like because I don't live in that realm. Okay. So let's just, again, we're spinning things. Okay. Okay. I'm we're shooting this shit. It. Okay. okay. I'm if Chris geeky. Taylor were to motivate you to have sex with him more often, okay. Okay. How would one motivate their partner or how do you think one should motivate their partner 
or how do you think they should come together and make that decision on how often they should have sex? So for me, and we've talked about this before actually, if you start just speaking to me in my love language, I will start sucking on your dick. I'm just- We know that's a lie I, Maybe not that, <laughs> maybe not oral lingus, but I would definitely be banging. If every, not every day. <laughs> If more often, I'm trying to be honest, okay, I don't want to... <laughs> You're saying things that are lies, If more babe. often acts of service were done without question, like proactively, I feel like that would motivate me. Okay. He wouldn't have to say anything. I would just drop my panties if I had some on. I'm not wearing any right now because I'm in leggings. <laughs> yeah. People believe you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so for me, I feel like it comes down to love languages okay. and I think that's psychologically for a lot of people true. Like if you've said it before, like if you're filling my cup and you're doing the things and you're giving right, then I'm more likely to want to give back. Even if I'm frustrated, even if I'm tired, even if I'm stressed because there's these counteracting measures that are happening to bring me back to center. Okay. So that would be it for me. Okay. So do you ever think that a couple, like, let's say while you're still in dating phase. Oof. Okay, say you and Chris Taylor dated for five years, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And you were in this, like, realm with him where you're like, okay, he came up to you and he said, Elizabeth, I think that you have a lower sex drive. Bitch. I have a higher sex drive. I want us to meet in the middle. What do you think about two times a week? Or, you know, this, do you think that agreement is ever a plausible situation? Yeah. yeah. I feel like even now, as a, especially as adults probably, because when you're dating, especially if I go back to when Chris Taylor and I were dating, we were young, we didn't have well, responsibilities yeah. and bills, right? But even Kids, now, responsibilities. like let's mm -hmm. say, Chris was like, I can't do once every 10 days. I have to have sex twice a week, which sounds <laughs> like a lot, <laughs> but he was like, I really feel like this would be best for us. Like, I think being intentional and scheduling it, and you've talked, we talked about this on our podcast before, like, if I say no one day, we have to have a plan then, okay, I know you want it, so let's plan on when we can make this happen, and if that's like making sure we bang during the day when the kids are at school, because I can't fucking stay up till 10.30 p.m., to bang, then yeah, I do feel like that is a plausible solution oh, sure. okay. to the issue. Do you feel like there's any other ways to come to an understanding or agreement about how many times that you should have sex a week? Because I know that there's people out there, not unlike myself, who are like rubbed up, you know, mm -hmm. life gets you going. And there are some people who have the train of thought that says like, you know, if you have it more often, it's something that you make time for, you incorporate it in your okay. relationship, mm -hmm. and makes a better relationship. Like, you know how you say if Chris Taylor does this, then he'll get this, but a lot of people have the reverse thought process where if you, if you give, give him more, me. he'll do more. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I do understand that. Okay, I can understand that. I think... I mean, I think there are creative ways, right? I might say, like, look, I can't be banging two times a week, okay? <laughs> I'm tired. But how about if I, like, do a boudoir shoot or I send you some pictures a few times a week to, like, maybe I we can compromise and I can try to, like, keep it spicy without, you know, settling, <laughs> losing my position of power. You don't have a position of power. <laughs> You're I do just think tired. <laughs> there are other ways, there are other compromises or creative solutions to the problem. I don't think, especially when someone says like, I crave sex, and we've talked about this, mm -hmm. it's not always that they crave sex, it's that they crave intimacy. intimacy. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm like, listen, I can't stay up and bang you, but tonight, like, you pick whatever movie and we'll snuggle, or I'll give you a back massage, whatever, to like try and help fill that gap okay. to me at that point then I might as well just bang because like what am I getting out of giving him a back massage but to each their own. What? <laughs> That's my life is not a good example. We've talked about this before. I think that this is why we make such a, a beautiful pairing though because <laughs> you rock bottom. Okay. What? I think I'm 
Okay, let's take a, a poll of all of our friends. So, your sister. Yeah, I'm not rock bottom because I'm thinking of somebody who hasn't had sex in like over a decade. So, no, the no, people who are having sex. Oh, now we got. That's weird. We're talking about having sex on a regular basis, making a cadence with your partner. Hmm. <laughs> So because she doesn't have a partner, she doesn't count. Not on a regular basis, okay? Fine. So your sister, all of our friends who are married, some of us who are just out here, where would you say that you rank on that level? Low. <laughs> Pretty low. Do you think you might be the lowest? No. I don't. I I bet we, first of all, I know we have friends that exaggerate. I, I will sure. bet my whole body on it. Why Even are you brand new tits, okay? <laughs> Why are we betting bodies I'm on it? I'm just saying. I bet my whole body count on it that we have Nobody friends. Nobody I've seen tits. some people in your body count. Okay, I bet the good half then. Okay. The good third. <laughs> it's I really a good third. I see a good two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest, I see a good two. <laughs> you know. Okay. Uh, a solid two. And I just think, I just, I just don't, I refuse to accept that I'm the bottom. I will take second to the bottom. <laughs> okay. But I started from the bottom and now I'm here. Okay. 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 And one, at one point I was up here. Okay. But that was like a while ago. Like. And now you're tired. A couple of decades. Yes. Okay, I was popping this pussy on the handstand for so long, my fucking elbows gave out. No, Literally. That's, that's your epicondylitis. Exactly, so. I have a brace. That's because you're old. Okay. And tired. We're saying the same thing. Okay. I think, <laughs> so let me just revert. So, so yes, I think the person with the lower sex drive in my situation should. does hold the key, but should not. Okay. Do you agree? I, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are the same. I think that... Each relationship is different. I feel like in your situation, Chris Taylor has accepted his fate and he knows. He loves me for all the other things I bring to the table. Continue on. We're saying the same thing. Oh my gosh, it is. Uh huh. Wait, it's dark. You, there's not even a clock over there. It's a dark outside. Continue on. Uh, and he's just accepted it. But some people have the school of thought that you shouldn't accept it. A partnership is an agreement between two people who mm -hmm. want to keep that intimacy, keep that connection, yeah, that physical alive. bond. Mm -hmm. So I definitely don't think that everybody should match my level of sex drive, especially because you would never, you never find it. The older I get, you know, there's some problems that. <sighs> Men and women have. Mm -hmm. Women have dryness or low sex drive, low libido. Men have or both. <laughs> ED <laughs> problems, things like that. Mm -hmm. Stress, all the things mm -hmm. come into Stamina play. Stamina starts mm -hmm. to. These motherfuckers out here are getting tired. Rem remember back in the day we used to go mm -hmm. rounds. Now it's How? like. Out. First of all, I would never stay with that long. Never. I did. You could go over an hour. No, I could do two rounds. Okay. Definitely two rounds. Maybe even three rounds. In a week? No. <laughs> In a night. Okay, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But I do not think that anybody should pick. I think that you should have like a proper marriage of mm -hmm. meeting in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. A partnership. Yeah. Okay. Like this is what I expect out of a relationship, but I also think that's a conversation that you should have, especially if sex is very important to you, then you should have that conversation right. in the beginning that says like, okay, I would expect to have sex. Like I would expect to have sex at least four times a week. <laughs> That, to me, I, you know, have that level of intimacy, have that level of closeness. Is this why you don't want to be my girlfriend? Because you know I can't give it to you four times a week? Because I could make some changes. You're tired. I don't know what they are <laughs> right now. You're tired, okay. I know, but. You're not. Maybe. You're not in it for me, okay? <laughs> okay. Chris, you and Chris Taylor are proper. Okay. I do think sometimes, though, even in like a. It's not always 50-50. Like sometimes it's 90-10. As mm -hmm. long as the pendulum swings the other way and you like find balance. Like, I agree. Then I think it's okay. Like it might not be four times a week every week, but one week it might be seven times because that's the time when you're in a an ebb. I was going to say right? you don't have any kids at it, home. Right. Everything is going your way. You so 
Chris Taylor gets a new haircut. Mm. Go on sexcation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might be more than seven times in a week. Okay. But I agree. The average should meet somewhere in the middle. Mine's somewhere in the middle. No, it's not. Of zero and 20. A year? <laughs> Something like that. We don't know. So tell us what you think, okay? <laughs> Who holds the key? Who should hold the key? What is the key? Have and a conversation. Pussy. Have a conversation about it with your partner, but make sure you comment below. Tell Bye, us guys. About it. Bye. <laughs> what? It rhymed. Why are we friends? I hold the key to just proceed. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> you sounded like a gangster rapper and then a Frenchman.